can I get 2000 watch time hours in three months or less? Probably not. But I'm gonna try anyways, because why not, right? In today's video, I'm gonna go over all the strategies that I'm going to attempt to use to try to get 2,000 watch time hours in three months or less. Now, I do understand that this is a pretty impossible ask, but you know what? I'm gonna give it my all. I only have three months to reach it, and I do have a reason for why I need 2,000 in three months, and we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. Hi, I'm Laura, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. I do a variety of videos over here on on this channel. I have talked a little bit about YouTube analytics and YouTube tips. I've done a baking video, some organization videos, some family videos that I have. I kind of have a mix going on over here. I have been wanting to get this channel monetized for a very long time now. I haven't been as consistent on this channel as I wanted to be. I do have a second channel, which most of my focus has been devoted to because it is already monetized. I've come into problems with that channel. One of the reasons I wanted to branch over to the new one was so that I could expand the content that I do and not be so boxed in to a niche like my other channel is. However, I have run into a little bit of a time crunch, a little bit of an issue. I basically need to get about 2,000 watch time hours and 133 subscribers in the next three months or I'm gonna have a setback. Let's talk about that. And then later on in this video, I'm gonna go over my strategy that I'm going to use to try to reach my impossible goal. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos while I go along this three month journey. But first up, let's talk about why I need 2000 in less than three months. If you didn't already know that in order to get monetized, you have to have 1,000 subscribers and you have to have 4,000 watch hours. I know it may be a little bit confusing because they did lower the amount of watch time hours that you needed in order to get like the super chats and some of the other functions so that you can start to earn a little bit of money, but you do not get access to the YouTube ads revenue until you hit 4,000 watch hours. Another important thing to note about the watch time hours is that they are a rolling watch time hours. That means every single day you are competing with yourself from a year prior. Meaning if you did really good and you earned 15 watch time hours on a day and then it's been a year, you still haven't reached your goal and then in the new year you only earned two watch time hours that day, then you will lose 13 watch time hours from the previous year. How do I wanna say this? It subtracts, okay? It's within a rolling year. Basically, if you don't use it, you lose it. Let's go to my analytics so that I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. For my eligibility, I only have 872 subscribers. I have 1,998 watch time hours and have 13,000 public watch shorts. So you can get monetized with either regular videos or with shorts. What's unfortunate about this situation is that your watch time hours from your shorts videos do not count to your watch time hours overall. I was pretty devastated to find this out because I have a short video that just took off. It was one of Taylor Swift that I filmed from her concert when I went way back in March of last year. And that video has 572,000 views. That is my most viewed video ever. It is a short, so it would have that much, but even my other shorts don't even come close. And when I click on the analytics for that video, you can even see here, it doesn't even bother telling you your watch time hours from your shorts videos because they don't count at all. I gained 287 subscribers just from that one shorts video. Wow. With my actual watch time hours, I need 2,000. Now it comes into the, why do I need them by March 1st? Well, that is because my most popular video ever that I've ever created on YouTube, this channel and including my review channel, it just blew all my other videos out of the water. It's the only one that went what I would call semi-viral. It is only 24,000 views, so it's not like super impressive compared to people who get millions of views on their videos but it was really, really exciting for me to see one get this much attention for someone with such a small channel. The exciting thing about this channel getting so many views is that it proves that you can be a small channel with less than a thousand subscribers and still get massive views on a video. Again, it's my first time it's ever happened to me. I have not had another one take off like this. When we look at the analytics for this video, you can see this one video alone has produced 1,000, 
500 watch time hours. That's almost my entire amount of watch time hours. This video alone is carrying my channel. Let me just do a screen recording so that you can see my analytics for this channel. Okay, so you can see this is my video over here and it's the one I did where I said how much I made with 1500 subscribers. I know that there was still a little confusion with this video because people didn't listen to the entire video all the way through, did not hear me say. The analytics report that I was doing was for my review channel, Laura Wooten Reviews. It was for my second channel that has 1,900 subscribers. At the time, it only had 1,500 subscribers. I've gained like another 400 subscribers over the past year. It honestly has not been a great year for me and you will get an updated analytics report. However, that is a video for another day. This video right here shows the importance of why I need to get 2000 watch time hours by March 1st because this video was published on March 1st. March 1st to March 20th of 2023 you will see that I gained 630 watch time hours and 10,000 views within that first 20 days. And if I do not reach my goal of 2,000 watch time hours by middle March, I will lose the 630 watch time hours. They will fall off of my channel and it'll be a huge setback. It'll take me even longer to gain back the watch time hours. Basically, after the first 20 days, this video died and it didn't pick back up again until September of this year, just a few months ago. This is the analytics that I was talking about since this video has been uploaded. You can see it had that initial gain. March 20th was the last big day, and then it went dead, okay? It went dormant, nobody was seeing it, and then it just randomly started taking off again in the end of September, just boom. I don't know why. This is a really great video that I would consider to be an evergreen video. It's the type of content that will forever be relevant and could take off again and again over and over again. And I just am so happy that I made it. Honestly, I should have been just like gung ho trying to get this channel built up this entire year. But 2023 was insane for me. 2023, my life sort of exploded with crazy amounts of busyness. I went from having one kid being really active to one kid being extremely active and then the other four kids getting involved in activities. That's right, okay, I have five kids and now pretty much all of them have extracurricular activities, which is great, I love that they do. However, my husband works nights, he's not here except for on the weekends, so it's just me. And because of that, my time that I've had to be able to put in my YouTube channel has virtually disappeared. It's very hard for me to get out content these days because of the changes that happened this year. So I wasn't able to do it. Now I could have done better, okay? I understand that, I could have done better. My mom has been kicking me all year long to try to post more over here so that I did not lose this gain so that I could use this as an advantage and I just waited too long and so now here I am in December, desperately trying to get 2,000 watch time hours in three months, which is gonna be almost impossible. But you know what? I'm still gonna give it a try. I have to give it my all. And if I don't reach my goal and I end up losing 600 watch time hours, but gain some while trying, then maybe come March, I'll still be in the same position. Who knows? Let's go over my strategy for how I'm gonna try to reach this goal. Strategy number one, is to post more frequently on this channel. Obviously, you have to have videos for people to watch in order to get watch time hours. So this one is a little bit of a no-brainer. I have several reasons as to why I've held up posting videos on this channel. One, because I'm still trying to figure out what this channel is. But two, the time. Strategy number two is to try to do a live video or two. I've never done a live video, not on this channel, not on my second channel. I've always been too scared to do them on my channel, mostly because I'm almost never in a quiet house. And even with a quiet house, the dogs bark out of nowhere. You never know when it's gonna happen. That stuff that I just can't edit out of the video. Also, my nose, okay? If I'm being honest, I have really terrible allergies. I am always stopped up. I almost always have a runny nose. Sometimes I have massive allergy attacks that just come out of nowhere that last hours. Those are all very, <laughs> real complications 
that could affect my live. Now, of course, I could always cut the live short and just end it shorter than I wanted to. So that is something that I might have to do to get over my fear of doing a live. But I have heard that lives are a good way to get watch time hours. It is something that I want to explore and see if it's accurate. I don't know how many people are gonna watch me over here. I mean, this channel has like 800 subscribers and most of those people subscribe to me because of my analytic video, because of my Taylor Swift videos, and because of, I think that one baking video that I did that was really good. And I totally forgot to do the analytics for that for you guys. <laughs> but anyways, I do have a live planned. I don't know how well it's going to go, but it does involve books. So if anybody here is interested in seeing potential books to put on your TBR, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss my live whenever it happens. Strategy number three is to post more on social media. This is something that I have not done very well at all since starting my channel. It is very difficult trying to put all of your energy into one thing and then to add more to it. To add Instagram, to add TikTok, to add Twitter, to add Facebook. And it's also a little vulnerable to put yourself out there, to post on socials where you know your coworkers will see it, your friends will see it, the kids you went to high school with will see it. It's it's a very vulnerable thing to do, but it is something that I need to do in order to help get more exposure. I did recently sign up for a TikTok account to post videos over there, like little short videos. I don't know how well it will help, but I also know that it is potentially a good way to get more traffic onto this channel, which could help me get more watch time hours. The fourth strategy I have is probably one of the most important to help with making sure that this video will get views. And that is putting more research into doing my videos, planning out the content better from start to finish, having a story or idea in mind so that the video flows. I need to spend more time researching titles and keywords. That is something that I did very, very well for my analytics video. I did a lot of research so that when I filmed it, I was very prepared about what to say and do in that video. The next strategy kind of contradicts the other one just a little bit, and it's to not spend too much time planning. There's a fine line between planning for your video and then doing too much planning. So much planning that you don't stop planning and then you end up not posting a video. This is something that has happened to me before where you get so involved in planning on something that you don't actually launch with it. Sometimes you have to do enough planning that you're prepared, but you still have to just go ahead and do it. And you have to understand that it's okay that it's not perfect. Do the very best that you can and then be satisfied with the hard work you put into it, but make sure that you go ahead and do it because otherwise you're gonna end up with nothing. The six strategies that I want to implement is to increase the quality of my videos by taking more time to film them and edit them. What I mean by this is something that you see in this video where I had multiple camera angles. That takes time to move my camera around, to move to different locations, to switch the lights around, that does take more time. But I do think it makes the videos a little bit more interesting compared to when I'm just sitting in one spot throughout the entire video. Now I do that a lot and I've had success with doing that, but I still want to challenge myself to take the time in the filming process to make sure that I am producing the best quality video that I can do. I also wanna make sure that I am taking my time and not rushing the editing process. I feel like a lot of the times I will film a video and there's so many other things I could have done in editing, but by the time I get to editing it, I am so tired. I just want it to be done and I will sometimes rush the editing process Process and just get it out. I will say that on my analytics video, I actually filmed that video more than once though. And that is something that a lot of people don't know. I mean, my mom knows it because I told her. I filmed it the first time. I didn't like the way I had structured it. I felt I was all over the place when I was talking and the video just was not as prepared. So I scrapped the entire video and I refilmed it. And I'm so glad that I did because in refilming it, I was able to have better structure throughout the entire video to make the video a little bit more cohesive. So again, this falls into the fine line between making sure that you are producing something that is good quality, but still making sure that you get it out because you can fall into the trap of where you're just scrapping everything over and over again and constantly redoing it. This is something that I would say is the equivalent to first time authors who just constantly rewrite their first chapter over and over and over again because they never think it's good enough. That is something that I do want to avoid. At some point, you just have to get the video out. 
I only did that once. I wouldn't recommend scrapping your video over and over and over again if it's the same one because you don't want to be like that first time author who's constantly rewriting their first chapter. Move on to the next video. If there's something that you didn't like about that video, you can reflect upon it. What can I do better for the next one? And then make those changes and just keep going. Very, very fine lines of my strategy. The seventh and final strategy that I need to implement in order to try and successfully reach my goals is to try and work out the biggest obstacle that I have in my life right now, which is time. I need to find a way to find more time to dedicate to this channel so that I can be successful because all of the things that I just mentioned, every single one of them will take time. Every single one of them will take time that I currently have not been devoting to this channel. So that I believe will be my biggest obstacle towards reaching my goals. Sometimes with my OCD, I can be very, very efficient with my time and I have not sit down and actually looked at my schedule on a time to time base to see where I can squeeze in those extra moments. I might even make a video with you guys sharing what a day in my life is like or a week in my life is like so that I can narrow down those areas where I can squeeze in more time to implement all of these strategies that I just talked about. I do think that that is gonna be a key component in my success is whether or not I can actually find the time and the efficiency to be able to get these videos out at the quality they should be at but also the amount that they should be at in order for me to successfully reach my goal. I think that that would be an interesting video to share. Let me know if that's something that you wanna see down below. I can be really, really good at this when I actually take the time, there I am with time again, to, um, to try and find those spots in my life where I can squeeze stuff in, but I also have to make sure I leave room for my mental health because I don't wanna just be working nonstop and just burn out completely. And it's one of the reasons I haven't pushed as hard this year with my life exploding and being as crazy busy as I've been is because I needed to make sure to have those moments for my mental health. So I'm gonna have to find that balance between time to do more while also taking care of me so that I can take care of my family, if that makes sense. If you have any suggestions on strategies on how I can successfully reach my goal, comment them down below. If you were just here for the journey and you wanna see whether or not I can succeed and whether or not these strategies work to try and reach my goal of 2000 watch time hours in three months. Comment that down below. Either way, whether this is a success or a complete and total failure, or maybe even like a mid success, if I almost make it there, I am gonna update you guys. So sometime in March, probably not the beginning of March, sometimes towards the end of March, you should see a video where I will update my success and or non-success <laughs> that I had during this three month journey. And I will be able to share with you guys strategies that I think worked if I came up with new ones, if I was able to implement more than what I was thinking in this video. I do think that it'll be an interesting journey for me to go on. I would love for as many of you guys to follow along as you can. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will be back with you guys shortly with another video and possibly a live. So that's exciting. Bye everyone.